All right, geometry fans, we're back here. Now we're ready to do part three of these notes, talking about circumference and area of circles. So here we go, number five, find the shaded area of each figure. So part A, here's your shaded area. Now it's 110 degrees, and the radius is eight. Okay, so the formula, area equals, area shaded. Take the central angle measure, divide by 360, times pi r squared. Take the fraction. This is the fraction of the whole circle. So here we go. Area shaded equals, that's 110 over 360 times pi times 8 squared. Now we can reduce this fraction. That's 11 over 36 times pi times 64. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to write this as a decimal. So I'm going to type this, 11 divided by 36 pi times 64. And if I just put pi 64, I'm fine. It'll work. 61.4, that is the shaded area. So area shaded equals 64. Let's say that this was inches. So it would be 64, or I'm sorry, excuse me, 61.4 inches squared inches squared. And that's good. That's my answer. Okay, now part B. We have a square and then we have a circle inside the square. Let's say that's 10 centimeters. We want to find the shaded area. The strategy here, let's take the square. If I could take out the circle all that would be left is the shaded area. So when I say take out the circle, I'm going to do area, SQ, square, minus, that's how I take it out, area of circle. So the area of a square, well, that's 10 times 10, which is 100. The area of the circle is pi times radius squared. Okay, it's 10 all the way across for the square, that means that it's 10 for the diameter. So the radius would just be 5. So minus pi times r squared, which is 25 pi. Now when I write this, this is the exact answer. That is exact. Now if I want the shaded, I could do 100 minus 25 pi, and that gives me 21.5. 21.5 is a decimal. So area equals 21.5 centimeters squared. So both of these are good. This is the exact solution. This is the rounded solution. But again, the strategy was take the big figure, the square, subtract out the part I don't want, which is the circle. Whatever's left over is my answer. So part C is going to be the same concept. Now C, here's the sector. This is what we've been looking at. If I could take that, okay, I'm going to draw it up here. If I could take that wedge, and then if I could just subtract out the triangle part, okay, the triangle is not shaded, so I need to take that out. Minus the triangle, what I would be left with, is going to be my shaded area, which is this little kind of crescent shape right here. So what I need to do is I need to find the area of this wedge first. Well, that's a 90 degree angle. So I do 90 over 360 times pi times radius squared. 90 over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so that's going to be 90 divided by 360. I can type it all in one shot. 90 divided by 360 pi times 14 squared equals 153.9. Okay, now that's the wedge area. Now we also need the area of the triangle. Well, the triangle, this is a 
a right triangle. So area of a triangle is one half base times height. The base in this case is 14. And the height is another radius. These are both radii, they're the same, that's 14. So the area of the triangle is one half times base times height. And if I multiply that, I get 98. So my last step here, I want just this green area. So I'm gonna take the whole thing, which is the wedge. I'm gonna subtract out the part I don't want, which is the triangle. So we'll do 153.9 minus 98. So 153.9 minus 98 gives me 55.9. And that is my shaded area. So that equals area shaded. Okay? So again, the concept. Take the whole thing, subtract out what you don't want, take it out, whatever's left over, that's your shaded area. All right, we'll do two more examples here. Let's take a look at six. This is an SOL type question, and this is gonna be, this is pretty complicated, but I think we can figure it out. Given three concentric circles with the center at O. Concentric means a circle within a circle, where they all have the same center. Segment KL is congruent to segment LN, is congruent to segment NO. KL, LN, NO, those are all the same. And then KP, this whole thing is 54. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six of these little segments. They're all going to be the same. So each one of them would be 54 divided by 6, which is 9. Okay, so the length of ON is 9, NL 9, 9, that's how we do it. What's the area of the shaded region? Here's what I'm looking at here, the shaded region. If I look at the big figure, here's a semicircle, okay? Now, if I find the area of the semicircle, it wouldn't be the correct answer because I need to take out this little half circle from the small one right here. Okay, so what I need to do, because that's not shaded, this part here is not shaded, so I need to subtract that part, and what's going to be left, what's going to be left over is the part that I want that's shaded. Here's the strategy. Okay, so the radius of the big circle, each of these is 9. So 9, 9, and 9. If I add that up, it's 27. So the radius is 27. Area is pi times 27 squared. But this is only half the circle that I'm looking at. So I'm going to divide that by 2. Pi times radius squared, but it's half the circle, divide by 2. So I do that on the calculator. Pi, 27 squared, divided by 2, and we get 1,145.1. 1,145.1. Okay, now the blue circle, that's the small one. The radius of that is just 9. So that's pi times 9 squared, and again, it's half the circle, divide by 2. So I'm going to do pi times 9 squared, divided by 2, which is 127.2. Now what am I doing with these two numbers? I am going to subtract them. So I'm going to take 1,145.1 minus 127.2 equals... So I subtract those, and what we get is 1,017.9, 1,017.9, and this is inches squared. Okay, so this is multiple choice. What's the area of the shaded region? 1,017.9, so the best answer is 1,018. Notice that choice B would have been a good answer if I was only looking for the semicircle, the whole thing. 
So if I'm not careful, I would have chosen it. It would have been wrong. I got to make sure I answer the question. All right, the last one here, number seven. Maria is running around. She's running around a circular track whose diameter is 100 meters. Okay, so let me draw. Here's a circular track. The diameter is 100. That means the radius is 50. If she runs one-fourth of the way around the track, how far has she gone? Well, we want to do one-fourth. Now, around the track, we're talking about circumference. This is arc length. But we're only going to go a quarter of the distance. Okay, so one-fourth times... 2 pi r, 1 lap around is 2 pi times 50, but we're not going a full lap. We're only going 1 fourth of a lap. So 1 fourth times this, and what we'll get, uh, let's see, 2 times 50 is 100, so it's 100 pi. I can take 1 fourth times 100, that's like 100 divided by 4, 25 pi. Now you wouldn't tell somebody that you ran 25 pi meters, so what we'll do is we'll say 25 times pi gives us 78.5, 78.5. So how far has she gone? 78.5 meters. All right, now the last one here, part B. If she runs three laps, how far has she gone? Well, one lap is one time around, which is 2 pi r. 2 pi times 50, so that was 100 pi meters. That's one lap. If she runs three of those, then she goes three times 100 pi, which is 300 pi, or as a decimal, 300 pi, and that's 942.5. 942.5. meters. And it's a distance, so I'm not going to do meters squared. It's just 942.5 meters. And that is the end of the notes.